Many designers ask me this, how do you actually use AI in your design process? Well, in this video, I am going to show you exactly how I took a section from a real Pitha website and redesigned it using tools like ChatGPT and UX Pilot. Let's get started. So today I want to show you how I take a part of a website and move it from this design, as you can see here, to that design, as you can see here, this one, and show how I use AI to enhance ideas and get new inspiration to create the new design. Let's start from the beginning. I have a section for a pizza website, as you can see here. And basically, I wanted to improve the design because as you can see here, the design is not powerful. It's not expressed well what they want to say here. What this page basically said is that they have on pizza competition and in the next year, they will compete with another pizza. In that section, they explain that they want free competition and here they explain what will be the next pizza they will compete in the next year so first of all what i did i take this image and paste it to ChatGPT and ask the chat hey what is the main idea of these sections because when i saw it the first time i didn't understand it 100 percent and the chat helped me to understand what the people want to say in that section you can see here the chat i ask it act like an expert in web design specialized in creating elegant high converting website for restaurant and I ask it, review this image and help me to improve the visual design of these sections. I want to feel more engaging, visually interesting and clear communication, its message. First, analyze the context of the layout and tell me, what is the core message these sections try to convey? I ask the chat, here's the sections. Please translate me what they want to say because I didn't understand in the first time. So it's explaining the core message. We have won awards and now we are back with another standard pizza crafted for bold taste. The chat explained me what they want to say and this helped me to continue iterate on the page. Next, I ask it to give me five alternatives for that idea. So it's giving five, as you can see here. I liked very much that after winning Austin, we set site higher. And in the chat, I paste the message I want to express in the design and I ask it five ways to redesign the page visually so it will show information better. Trying to use less text, more visuals, you can use text, but less is more. Because if you will take a look on the section, as you can see here, there is a lot of text here, but people don't have energy to read text. And basically when you want to communicate something, you can do it by text, but better idea is to do it with visuals that mark the main points you want to show. So in that case, I asked the chat to give me some ideas. It gives me some ideas, as you can see here, split screen to hero and minimal text, full screen background, and more stuff. So once I have it, I paste it in UX Pilot and ask UX Pilot to create these pages for me. Now let's see the result. So we are here in UX Pilot. You can see here the result UX Pilot gave me. Let's move here. So you can see here the title. There are some icons with titles below that explain what price this pizza won and some more information. If I go below, there is another design here. And below we have this page that basically this page it's a dynamic one. So if I will open it in full screen, you can see here that this is dynamic page. So if I can make click, it's moved to the next page. So this is something new in UX Pilot that it's make dynamic pages, not only static ones, very interesting way to redesign applications or websites, but uh, this is something new. You can discover it with UX Pilot. But if I back one moment to Figma, the thing is that after start to iterate in that way, I start to think, how I can communicate the information. Because basically in this section, there are two parts. The first part explain what this pizza won. And the second part explains with what pizza they will compete in the next year. So we have two parts for these sections. And I thought that to communicate this idea, it's better to divide this section to two parts. First part, I explain we won. Second part, I explain what will compete in the next year. So I take my iPad and make some sketches to understand how I can do it. You can see the sketches here, the first part, the second part, first part, second part. And then I start to iterate in Figma to build the page. This is the first page I created. You can see here the title, a subtitle and what the pizza won. And the second part, what pizza they will send to the next competition. So we have your title, subtitle and the button to move to the pizza competition. So as you can see here, the page, there is two pizza here, the old one and the new one, but it looks for me a little bit boring that both of them are the same size and I want to make something more dramatic. So what I did, I create here the new pizza in full screen. So it's make something more expressive, something more dramatic that I will add to the website. 
Next thing that I want them to do is to start to work on the title, subtitle, and all the text in this design. So what I did, I moved to ChatGPT and asked it to give me ideas for the text. You can see an example here, make the title that is better for these bullet points, give me 10 options. So here was I ask, it's give me 10 options. From there, I can select it one and I continue iterating that way on all the text of the page. You will see that in that way, you will able to create much more engaging titles, subtitles of any type of text with this way. Once I selected all the titles and subtitles, I want to express here in the new pizza that will compete what ingredients it has inside. So basically the image explains everything. But when I work with UX Pilot, I get this image. And I like very much the idea of this type of tool tips that explain deeply the ingredients in the pizza. Although the people can understand it for the image, the fact that I add text, I can mark the ingredients better. So I take this idea UX Pilot generated for me. And that's a very important thing. When I work with UX Pilot on any other design tool, I don't want that the tool will give me final solution. I want the tool to open my mind to thinking in other way. So in that case, UX Pilot helped me to get this idea and I add it in Figma. You can see it here and I start to iterate with the visual design because here there's a lot of visual information, the image and the title above. And at the end, I added a stroke here to the pill so it will be more noticeable. So we have it there. And if you can see here the page, it's a little bit boring because basically this black background, that's okay, but I want to make something more interesting. So I move to ChatGPT, paste this image and ask it to give me some ideas for the background. You can see it here. This is the page and I ask it, give me ideas for the background because now it's boring. And it's giving me some ideas like self texture or faint pizza stone texture or open glue gradient and more stuff. And at the end, I've selected to add a photo in the background. So here's the final result with the photo in, on the background. You can see it here. And I will open it in full screen. The first section and the new pizza for the new competition in the second section. So this is how I design this page. I don't think it's finished. I need to work a little bit more about the design. For example, I want to work more on that part to make it more expressive. Maybe I will change the icons. In that case, I use icons from huge icons that are great, but maybe I will add another ton of icons I have in the set. I need to see how I will do it. Maybe to play a little bit with the typography, big, smaller, something like that. I think I need to work a little bit more here, but basically this is the process on how I use AI to enhance my creativity. And just let you know that I didn't show you all the stuff because I don't want that the video will be very long. But if I move to ChatGPT, here I am in the chat. You can see how many chats I have with ChatGPT to create this page, to enhance my ideas and to get inspiration, to continue iterate and create better design. So this is all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you're looking for a product designer to level up your business or you're curious about bringing AI into your workflow, my contact info down in the description. Feel free to reach out anytime. And if you got value from this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment. I love to hear your thoughts or any questions you have got. See you on the next one. Take care.